so the 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 point that you made about not all your thoughts are technically your thoughts. No. Some thoughts no. are influenced, and it's it's tough for people who have, you know, whatever it is, some kind of mental health struggle, yeah. to to like decipher between them because yeah. you think it's your thought. Because it's in your head, and there's your plenty head. of other times yeah. where, where you think something, and you're like, "I definitely thought that," but yeah, did yeah. you? You know? Yeah. Well, yeah. The first, this, this is a, the way I do it, man. This is this is how I break down if the thought is really from you or if it's from an outside source, man. The first law of nature is self-preservation. So your body right. is it's always trying to preserve itself in some way, shape, form, or fashion. So if a decision or a thought that you're you're, you're trying to do. Is ultimately eventually going to lead to your destruction. That's not coming from a, uh, the that 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 doesn't adhere with the rule of self preservation that naturally comes outside of you. So obviously that's that's an outside source. You know what I'm saying? Now you still have to make the decision to accept that and to, to go along with that. But I think that that gives just more comfort. Like if you got these crazy, I feel like killing the baby or just something crazy, and it just makes you feel bad about yourself. Or whatever. I think once you realize that not all thoughts are, are your are your thoughts and like I. I have a Bible um, foundation, even though I don't believe in the Bible, but I will quote scriptures every now and again. But in the scriptures, it says we are we're not we're, we're not wrestling with flesh and blood. We're we're wrestling with like these spiritual invisible things. You understand what I'm saying? Like we're, we're wrestling with things that we can't see. But, you know, right. if you understand like the rule of self-preservation and if what you're trying to do is or what you're thinking about doing will ultimately destroy you. That's not from you. That's some outside sources trying to get you to destroy yourself, tricking you and to make you think that it's you so that you go out and do whatever it is that that, that, that pops inside your head. But you have to have the wisdom and the understanding to, 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 to grasp and comprehend that, you know, what I mean, when you make your decisions, you know. Right. Now, what about a scenario when somebody is doing something that started off as something they really, really enjoyed and something they really wanted to put a lot of time into. Uh, but over time, they've become absolutely obsessed, which, again, is a double-edged sword. You find a lot of success stories on the other end of that obsession. But for some people, it ends up being a detriment. Like the guy, I don't know when it happened, but recently this guy got, um, he exercised all day, every day. He got down to like 0.2% body fat and died. Damn, damn. Yeah. 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 <laughs> you, you know? Well, no, I was I was just gonna say, like, that's that's well, that's an example and, of and with that, yeah. Um and, and that may not necessarily be um going against the first rule of nature, but uh, right. another rule is just about having balance. It's about having balance. You understand that I man? I don't know which rule yep. that is. I'm sure that's I just know the first rule. Like, I, I always say yeah, the first rule of nature. I don't know the second rule, I don't know the third rule, but I always say that first, yeah. the first rule of nature is self-preservation. But that right. might be some type of rule. There needs to, there needs to be some type of balance. Like I can drink this water. This is good for my kidneys, blah, blah, blah. But if I keep gorging and gorging and gorging and gorging, I, I'll I'll get water poisoning. You understand what I'm saying? So, right. so that, that's another thing too. If you're doing things okay, if it's not gonna destroy you initially. But if you overindulge or you have too much excess, then you are you are you are going against the, the concept of balance, you know? Right. Yeah. Well, that's you know, I mean, I've been a martial artist my whole life, and that's mm -hmm. like the main premise, right? Yeah, balance. Yeah. It's the not not only physically, but but you know, you read any samurai texts or texts from you know Eastern philosophy and that type of thing. It's all balance like the, yeah. the greatest one of the greatest warriors ever was uh Miyamoto Musashi the book of uh what is it the book of five rings book of six mm -hmm. one of them and he talks about all the things that you need to you know keep a balanced a balanced way yeah and uh yeah. W whatever your game is for them it was being a samurai yeah you got to know how to use your sword and fucking you know decapitate people and do all this shit but you also got to know how to write you got to know how to read. You got to know yeah. how to train a horse. Yeah. A lot of scholars. You know? Yeah, yeah. You got to farm, whatever. You know, yeah. Yes. Yeah. yeah. But so it, it is interesting. Like right. It's interesting that, you know, something that was thought of maybe for the first time ages ago, decades and decades ago, still works yeah. or still translates to today, you know? Because